So let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. Brittany B is official. I do not like you. Like you was show you showed your behind this whole episode. You gave me Zell Swag his first season with Mr. Ray and the way Zell Swag at the whole entire first season he was on this show. Like Brittany B, I am not a fan a fan of you. I barely know you and don't want to know you like you did too much this episode from your little bowling mint, sir, to the way you talk to London Paris friends and Zell. Even though I don't like Zell, North Paris London friends, you was wrong. You was wrong. You was wrong. From the whole Brandon Lee and his law um thing he got where he can make new well where he got where he have new artists come out there and sing and perform and give them a platform you showed your behind there that whole beef with lyrica and her friend sound like a whole lot of bs to me and sound like you just want to be mad just cause i don't know if you mad cause lyrica cut you off the friendship didn't go the way you want to go or whatever but we gonna dissect this thing right here and right now. Like Britney B, I am not impressed. Like really, I thought I was gonna like you. Yeah, you gave me a little bit strong at the at the beginning, but I said, well, maybe she can change or whatever. You know, maybe she can came my strong. That might have been her first scene. Well, her first couple of scenes, and you know what? Maybe she'll change that around. Maybe she'll calm down, be, be, be more relaxed in front of the camera, um, take a chill pill, be more nicer, stop being extra, and Brittany B, you gave me all that what I wanted you to stop, and I'm not a fan of you at all. Like, you did too much, um, Brittany B, and I am not a fan of that mess. Like... Come on, camera. Like, I'm not a fan. Like, you did too. Like, with the whole, let's go ahead and get into your mint, sir, the little bowling thing. When Paris, London, France walked in there, and you, well, when Zell Swag walked in there and bringing London, Paris, and France, there was a way to handle that besides the way you handled that. You knew K. Michelle and Paris, London, France had this beef. She used K. Michelle credit card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you heard of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got an earful of it from K. Michelle. But you did not have to throw that in that girl. You did not have to throw that in that girl face the way you did. Like, you literally took a situation that Han K. Michelle went through, put your feelings on it, put your spin on it, and threw that in front of that girl. Like, you was dead wrong, Brittany. Like, I don't like Zell no um no what her name is London. I don't know her name. That's why I call her ass the London Paris friends. But yeah, you didn't have to talk to that girl like that. There was more that well, there was a more mature, friendly type of way to handle that than to bring up that woman credit card issue with K Michelle, embarrassing that girl in front of Zell Swag and Brandon Lee and and Mr. Ray and all them people. That was there to that event. Like you could have did, like that was on calls for Brittany. Like you could have did better. And like they said, you did look kind of ridiculous in that. What was that? A highlight? Uh, um, a high, a highlight of yellow? A high orange? Well, a high green? What is it, a high yellow or a high like a lime green? Like you did look kind of ridiculous in that dress you had on. I, I will get them there. They did clown you for that dress looking like a highlighter. So I get them that one in. You could have handled that much better. And I'm surprised that I'm going to try to get her name right without calling her London Paris friends. Is her name London? Cause I don't know the girl name. I don't pay attention to her. I stopped paying attention to her. The second season she got when she was crying about K. Michelle and her credit card. That's when I stopped paying her any attention. So what is her name? London? Is it? I think it's London or Paris. Could be print. You know what? K. Michelle acquaintance. Let's just put it that way. But anyways, though. 
you could have handled that a better way than you handled that. Like, come on now, um, Brittany B. Like, you came on too strong from the jump and looked like you wasn't going to stop. I wish you would have stopped because you do have potential. You do have a voice. Um, you do got some vocals there. But just like you said, um, April can't sing. You kind of can't sing neither. That song you sung at um, Jason Lee Love Mixer, th well, a uh, big thing he thrown. You was off key. You didn't sound very well. If I had to pick between you and April, who I want to sing at my wedding, my birthday, or anything else of when I'm throwing, I'll pick April over you. Because April actually do have a voice. You say you can't hear her trying to throw those, um, trying to throw shade at April, but April actually have a voice. So you uh, maybe you can figure it out and work it out with yourself, Brittany. Be like, you coming up as a hater now, and then you calling Lyrica Lyrica, and then you calling Sia the jealous friend because she mad because I wouldn't be her friend and all that. Like, Brittany B, we barely know you. But it seems like you have a whole lot of beef with a whole lot of people that are not interested in you. Just like Lyrica wasn't interested in you. And Lyrica want to know, why the hell you so mad at her? Why the hell you coming at me aggressive? Why the hell you got, why the hell you doing this? And why the hell you coming at me with some stuff that you heard somebody said about me coming in my, coming in my face? Like I said that, Mr. You like, Lyrica, I mean, not Lyrica, Britney B, you can't the Lyrica and was mad at Lyrica over some he say, she say. Now, you look like you heading close to your 40s, maybe to your 40s or however old you is. Are you seriously going to be mad at somebody over some he say, she say, where well, he say, she say, like... You couldn't much tell Lyrica what the hell she did when you was calling yourself confronting, confronting Lyrica. I heard from somebody else that you don't like me and blah, 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 blah. Lyrica said, wait, you mad at me because you heard from somebody else that I said this and that and the third about you, but you ain't got no receipts. You're not really telling me what the hell I said about you but you're mad at me carrying this hatred or this grudge against me and you okay with this and if i guess if i get slick at the mouth you really in the swing on me or whatever like britney b you is petty as hell coming at lyrical like that on some he say she say bs like you really need to grow the hell up britney b like that was kind of dumb and petty and the, and the, um And to top it all off, you basically mad at Sia cause Sia ended up being lyrical friend and sound like you not lyrical friend and now you mad at Lyrica and um and Sia because they friends and you're not like Lyrica said, we only went to a um we only went to a we only did a song together. We only did a, uh went to the gym together. We were not friends. You might have considered us friends, but we're not friends. And you're okay with being mad at me over some BS. The more I said, the more ridiculous it sounded. And I cannot and I will not. Like, Brittany B, get your shit together. Like, you sound petty and you sound stupid right now. And the more I think about this and the more I talk about it, the more that you need to be popped across the head. Like, you was mad at Lyrica over nothing, basically. And y'all hugged and talked it out. Now, when it came to see y'all, on the other hand, see ya. I don't know your beef with um Britney. You started with the old hands in the face and couldn't help yourself. So that's where that turned left. And that's when y'all was about to fight or whatever. Like A1 Stakes South said, are y'all really this man or are she really this man because y'all wasn't friends and you almost been her friend but wasn't her friend? Like if this really what's happening in the world, 
you mad because I wouldn't be your friend and Lyrica ended up being my friend and not you and now you mad and pressed about it, calling me fake to K. Michelle, calling me a fake friend, calling me a liar and calling me all these other names like you know me. And like Lyrica said, we only met maybe once or twice or one time and now you got this whole opinion about me being fake and a fake friend and a liar and I... Mm. I'm done talking about Britney B. But Britney B, you sound petty as, petty as hell. Like, grow the hell, love. I know this is your first season. Um, judging by what I've seen on this episode, I hope you don't get another season because you really showed your behind this episode. Like, really, you showed your natural behind this episode. Like, the stuff you did on this episode, and I ain't defending Paris, I'm not defending Zaya. I probably would have did the same thing Paris would have done if you said the stuff you said to me, judging by you came Michelle friend and you on her side and you basically running with what the hell this person said about me, throwing it in my face as a comeback, as a clap bag, or to get smart with me or trying to impress your little friends at this party, I probably would have did the same thing Zell and, and I can't. Paris did what they did, run around the thing, play a little bowling, sit there and call it till trying to run away from security. I probably would have done all that too because all that was on call for. Like I caught you throwing shade at the first beginning. When you saw Paris at that event, you threw shade, you threw the, well, you threw the Uber shade at her. But did she get an Uber here? Or did she catch Uber here or whatever? So you threw shade all the way at the beginning of that event. Um, you messy as hell, um, Brittany B. And whatever, I guess. Um, we ain't talking about Ray J and his dog. I'm sorry he lost his dog. I feel sorry he lost his dog. I hope he find his dog or his family member. But and that's all April, 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 April. Princess and Ray J got to give us is a lost, stolen, damaged dog that they lost, giving away a rack of money for a dog that they consider family. And he took it to his parents' house, and the dog ran out the door, and how does and somebody picked up the dog and oh nice dog picked up the dog and took it up we're not going to talk about ray j and princess and they y'all got all that got their money go go do like you did either throw a charity of in give away a half a million dollars or whatever you have to do to bring your dog back home why would you put that on love and hip hop ray j why that's opening the door of somebody coming in your house or breaking into your house, stealing another one of your dogs, cause you know, cause we know he'll give us a whole wreck if we find his lost, stolen, or damaged dog because we went in the house and stole this dog. Now we want some of Ray J money. So let me go ahead and keep the dog for a few days. Maybe he'll give me a big reward for the dog and I can return the dog like the dog then ran out the, ran out the house again like it did to the to his mom and daddy house. I'm not fooling around with Ray J and Princess. And if that and if that's all y'all gotta offer us this season, Ray J and Princess is a lost dog, y'all doing dominatrix and that's about all we seen y'all do this episode this season. Y'all could have stayed back. Y'all could have skipped this season. Um, Ray J and Princess, y'all are boring as hell. Like, I can't believe how many scenes y'all had from y'all lost dog. Like, really? Y'all had all these scenes over a lost dog? Really? Really, Mona? This must have been a slow day for y'all when y'all was filming this episode that y'all had so much time to stick Ray J and Princess and they lost dog in this episode. I mean, seriously, really. Then got all their friends or Ray J friends running behind in a dog car, running behind trying to fall, trying to find the damn dog. I... We could have moved the hell on because I ain't got time for Ray J and Princess behind. Like, really? Like, y'all could have kept them scenes of uh, Ray J and Princess. Little Big Head 
El Sofia show. I do not like you. I don't like you, and I don't like your voice. And you want that. Mm. Little big head, you messed it up this episode, too. So, do you like Akon, or do you like Mickey Monday the most? Who do you like the most? Because it sounds like you either jealous of this man and his relationship with, um, forgot the girl's name. His little model girlfriend that he dating now. Do you like him, want a relationship, or do you want to marry Mickey Monday besides Akon? Because you coming off as a jealous ass that had him, want him again. You act like you happy in the relationship you in or the marriage you in now. But if you can play around and Akon allow you to go out and have one affair, you will have that one affair with Mickey Monday. Like, the little big head, I didn't like that what you did. Like, really, in front of that man, mama and daddy and his family members, talking about it ain't an unofficial me. You didn't met me, met me before. And then embarrassing that man in front of his girlfriend. Like, mm -mm. little big head, you could have saved that. I don't know why you thought it was okay to come to that man again, talking in front of that man family members like that, like that was killed. You decided to come outside and address him with your hands hands. Like, really? Little big head, do you love Akon or do you love Mickey Monday? Which one is it? Because you married the Akon. Y'all had a little hiccup in the role. Y'all back together now. Now you like now it seems like you're running behind Mickey Monday because he's a potential client of um convict music, but you like to chase and it seems like you like embarrassing that man and telling this man who he do and who he don't love. And you say he with this model girl for a clout and he using her for her clout and her fame just to get famous or what. Like, little big head, you worked on my nurse this episode too. Really, you did. Like, that mess you did, I wasn't here for it. Like, Mickey Monday, you could have did better. Because if she would have came at my family in the way she came at your family, I would have, like, to pull her little big head behind, little big head behind uh, to the side and told her, look, you married. I'm dating. I'm happy. Just because you're not happy in your marriage, go find somebody else that make you happy. Like, that woman don't know her borders, don't know her boundaries, and don't seem to care about none of that. Just as long as she can give you a rise or whatever, she willing to run with it and use it. Like, that was so un unprofessional. That was so rude, and that was so disrespectful. You carry yourself as a businesswoman, uh, but you came off as a thirsty ass that's willing to do anything, even if that means messing up his current relationship just so you can have him bad. But you're married or whatever the hell you and Akon got going on. It's obvious you're not happy with whatever you and Akon got going on because it seems like you still chasing behind Mickey Monday and he ain't chasing behind you. He want to be friends. You want to be more like little big head. I was so ashamed of you this episode and I was getting, and I was beginning to like you in your voice. Now I ain't too sure about that. Because the way you acted and the way you handled that, like you shouldn't have handled that. Like, come on now, on um, little big head. That was a cause one, you know it. And when and, um and when Akon look at this episode, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be impressed with you neither. And he might really get that divorce now and go back to his 10, 11 wives, 13, 14 wives and leave your little big head behind where you need to be left out, left, left there, chasing behind Mickey Monday and whatever woman he date next time. Because it seems like you like chasing behind that man and calling yourself causing trouble and that man love life just because you can. So that was messed up, um, little big head, and you need to be whooped for that one. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get into the drool. 
situation. We gonna talk about it a little bit. We ain't gonna give them too much. But I actually agree with um, what's his name? I had his name down written in the notes. What is J Bug? Is that his name? J Bug? Yeah, J Bug. I agree with you one hundred percent with that situation. What April? And Love Fizz got going on. I agree with you 100%. You better go ahead and get a handle of that and figure out what the hell they got going on with that and go ahead and find a way to put a stop to that because that man going to mess up all y'all bads around here, running behind him with April. She looked like, well, like she told Zell Swag, like she told Zell in London, if he offered me the D, I'm willing to take the D. So she willing to take the D. She willing to mess up any bag that Lil Fizz going to get, including B2K, because she want to play around with the um, understudy. That's why I said a lower grade besides upgrading herself higher than Omarion. She want to downgrade herself to the lower gas, to the lower grade gas, and play down in the kiddie pool with Lil Fizz. So... She put to fuck up y'all whole entire bag and Lil Fizz to sit right here and mess up y'all whole entire bag. Y'all better find a way to put a stop to that mess because them two is no good. Lil Fizz already expressed how I feel about this, that you're no good. And April, I already told you how I felt the first episode when y'all first put this mess in front of my face. That they now one of y'all no good. You no good for going to Drew. And Drew, you damn sure ain't no good for going to her. Knowing that that's your ex your ex man mate ex-wife i think it is and now you sit up here playing around with her staying with her leaving your darn shoes at this woman's house knowing this girl gonna have a company there and all this and all that if that girl did want to have a little a little snack come over he looking at man's shoes your shoes all in that woman's house like y'all ain't shit look is april y'all ain't shit for that like y'all put a mess up y'all whole entire bags messing around with each other like little fizz go find you somebody else to play with and leave april the hell alone before you mess up your whole entire bag running around here with that woman i already expressed how i felt about that so i ain't got to talk about that too much but i, I still feel the same way and i'm glad somebody else feel the way i feel that's right j bug Focus on that $3.5 million that you could be losing just because these two idiots want to sit right here and have a whole relationship knowing how deadly and how bad that can be for y'all. But I'm glad to see you got a little backup plan, meaning that you talked to Marcus Houston and talked about bringing Immature back together, even though I ain't heard about them in forever. I haven't seen them in forever. Um, they did have nice music. I kind of remember them, maybe a little bit. Do I remember them? I think all I remember from them was I Never Lie. I Never Lie in another song. Well, two songs I remember. I can't think of the names right now. I remember about three songs from them. Did they ever do good? Because I don't remember three songs from them. I would never lie. I can't think of that other staring song, and I can't think of that other song. But I remember three songs for them. Like, that would be a nice investment for you, J-Bug, just in case Lil Fizz and April ass mess up your bag. At least you do got a backup plan. Now, Marcus Houston, I know y'all pushing 40. I'm right there behind you. I'm pushing 42. Get back on that stage and get y'all money. Y'all was good while y'all lasted immature. Y'all was all right. Now that I'm thinking about it, I remember four songs from y'all. Yep, four songs. I remember four. Y'all can do it. Go on. If B2K can do it, y'all can do it. If um Pretty Ricky can do it, y'all can do it. I heard of somebody else that reunited, but I can't think of their names right now, neither. If all these other bands can do it, y'all here, y'all can do it too. Ain't nothing stopping y'all from doing it, neither. Um, 
A1 State Sauce, A1 State Sauce and Lyrica. I'm not going there with y'all asses tonight. I know it was only a matter of time before A1 State Sauce be nice to you and press you. And now you, ew, he impressed me. I'm liking the way he doing, but I don't know if it's enough yet. But I'm going on tour with him or whatever, and we're going to see how this works and see how he impressed me and all this and all that. So now he impressing me, and I want to ruin the thing. Girl, you gonna go back to A1 State Sauce. Lyrica, stop playing in my face. I done told you, you was only gonna be mad at him by the first beginning of the, of the season. By the middle of the end to the season, you gonna be wrapped back in his arms again, as I suspected. Lyrica, stop playing with me. You and A1 State Sauce, stop playing with me. Y'all knew y'all was only going to be mad for a few scenes, and that was it. Like I said, anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.